What's going on YouTube? I haven't posted a mod or anything in a long time. Uh, as you see, I don't have any Ford F-150s anymore. I have a Nissan Titan. Nowhere on the web is there hardly any videos for this Titan. I mean, literally. So what we're about to do today is a Chrome delete. As you can see, I had one of these old like mats from when I had floors installed. Um, I had a roll of it, so I used that. Um, so here we are this is the first coat okay all right as you can kind of see in the in the sunlight i scratched these suckers up with i don't know 100 grit sandpaper people said 80. this spray paint says 100 to 1 or 130 um 180 to 240 sorry so this is some stuff i just picked up at AutoZone. some acrylic enamel but it has great adhesion because I tried this before with my F-150 and it was a major fail. I used a gloss black and damn, it just, it started to run and fade. Never will do Plasti Dip again. That's trash. For those of you who use Plasti Dip, shame on you. That stuff fades in like two months. But we're going to do paint. We're going to do it the right way. And I bought this clear coat uh, from AutoZone as well. It has UV protection. I've seen people do videos with... Uh, some spray wax type stuff. I don't know. We're just going to hope it works and hope for the best. Um, so the main goal was to do these. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to do all of them. So, but the main reason for this post is a lot of you know that this, these grills are really hard to take off. I've never taken this off. I've had this truck for like two weeks. So the way to take it off, I asked a guy on YouTube that actually... <laughs> was going to plasti dip his emblem and he had the emblem off and the grill was still intact and i asked him how'd you take it off well long story short he said you push from the back and you pull from the front kind of thing so right here in the sides here as you can see because nobody on youtube helps anybody out because i know a lot of you are probably going to be doing the chrome deletes on these titans and you want to know how to get the dang emblem off there's tabs you can literally feel them sticking out behind here push in and you can pull and then the the emblem will start to come out you'll see it it's like the easiest thing ever it's like the easiest removal i've ever done same here emblem removal and then just be careful you pull it from the bottom and then the top will still be attached just be careful don't break the tab up top and then just pull it out okay it's that simple you cannot you don't have to take off the whole damn grill okay um i'm gonna probably leave these chrome do you see how dark that chrome looks it almost looks like a gloss black. I'm not going to worry about those now, but you can replace them out for like a hundred bucks a piece. <laughs> but um, I touch up these lights that got faded. This is a 2018 Pro 4X. I don't know who had this truck before me, but Jesus Christ. All right, so um, I used a heat gun to remove these pry tool. So as I'm heating one, I get the pry tool in a corner and it literally pulls right off. It left most of the sticky intact, which is great because now I know exactly where it's going to go. Any that was sticking up, I'll probably just peel it off. And I also have double-sided tape that I will put probably on all of these in just a little couple spots just to re-secure it. Because what I'll do is I'll probably reheat it up, um, put some fresh double-sided stick tape on it. Because, you know, when you put double-sided stick tape on, the letters are going to kind of bow out a little bit. And I don't want that. I want to kind of put them back into their original adhesive. Okay, so that's where I'm at. I put some tape there to kind of guide me because I didn't know what it was going to look like behind them. Um, be careful with your heat gun, by the way. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't burn the door. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pop them back on with some double-sided stick tape. Okay, replace that with a black sticker. Tail lights come in. Um, I put LEDs in it, except for this one, the main one. I'm, uh, I'm over it. Uh, just decided to get some LED aftermarket lights. But however, I'm going kind of with a black red theme. So I'm, I got the red LED tail lights, and I'll show you guys probably in another video. All right, so the rear, the rear uh, removal, super easy. I mean, I almost could have pulled it off by hand. I just got my pry tool under it. I don't even think I heated it up. And I was able to just pop it right off. It literally just sits in there with two straight pins, but no clips, at least not mine. Um, and I just was literally popped it right off, like easiest removal of all time, guys. So that is where I'm at. Same thing on the other side. And it's that easy. I did buy some super glue cause I saw a video 
well, dealer like put double-sided stick tape here to kind of fix this uh that didn't fix anything so i bought some gorilla super glue i'll let you guys know how that goes apparently it works for some on youtube this vid this, this truck was in an accident so i got a steal on it <laughs> but beggars can't be choosers when it only has forty-five thousand miles on it so you know we'll see what go how it goes um and uh I just was stalling a couple minutes before I put on my second coat. Make sure that if you're spraying this way, you go around the back and spray the other direction too because you want to make sure you're getting the tops and behind the emblem here, okay? Hope that helps you all out. Um, yeah, man. Uh, there's a lot of people that just don't have these Titan videos up. Like, I don't know why. I mean, you got F-150s all day and freaking Nissan Frontiers all day. But you just don't see any Nissan Titan mods. But hope this helps y'all. Oh, and uh, I do have one other mod I could show you. So I just installed this. 2018 It's loaded, right? But, you know, I got the nav. Oh, oh, yeah, where is it? You got the nav. You got everything, Bluetooth, but you don't have Apple CarPlay. And I'm... Yeah, I don't know why that just cut out. I got an alert. Huge Apple CarPlay advocate. So I bought this screen off Amazon. It was like $200, but it was like $40 off. My bad. <laughs> and uh, it's longer. So I think it's like nine and a half inches. Um, so it gives me wireless Apple CarPlay. It's also a dash cam, as you can see, um, which is awesome. It does loop recording. So the SD card in it literally just records over old recordings which is awesome but it boots up pretty fast for carplay um just keep an eye on it but what i wanted to show you is kind of like how i installed it so it had double-sided stick tape you also had a yeah so anyway like i was saying double-sided stick tape and i just put it on the flattest surface it seems to be holding pretty well um i was a little worried at first but i mean they made them for that so let's just hope it works now i took the wire it's actually a usb-c which is awesome because you can actually uh put it in your um usb port but i used the cigarette lighter that came with it it actually came with a usb port so if you guys ever want to know like which device this is that i bought let me know it's dope you got fm transmit you can also plug it into your auxiliary down here okay uh music can go through your car stereo uh, but Siri, if you want to use Siri, you know, and stuff like that, like me, I just switch over to uh, FM transmitter real quick and I'd be like, Hey, Hey Siri, text Babs. Hey Siri, text Babs. And it probably can't because I'm uh, recording, but this mod is super dope. Everything's hands-free. Even the button on your steering wheel will activate Siri for this. Um, Music will be stereo if you run it through the FM transmitter, but it also the music is you switch over to aux will switch it from this device or the FM to your Bluetooth, which is awesome. So it does go through the stereo. Um, and I love this little thing. It gives me the freedom of Apple CarPlay. It's a lower profile, so I have more clearance. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I know I ramble a lot, but uh, I had to have. Oh, and lastly, I ran the cord behind the trim. So I got a uh, trim popping tool, the plastic tool that I use basically to take my emblems off. I really had to force it in there because this is tight, guys. But it, it won't damage anything here. So I, don't be afraid to crank it in there in the crack and just pry it out. It'll pry this bad boy out, which is where I was able to tuck the wire down in here because I didn't want dangling wires. And the cool thing is it goes way down here and deep down in here, you can stuff your wires. You can't even really see them. Um, and just kind of keep them uh, dressed up. So that was kind of my intent behind that. So the only thing I'm really seeing is this, which is awesome. This is a, an Alexa device that I had for my previous cars. And uh, I kind of like Alexa because instead of asking Siri to play a certain song, Alexa can go right to the song on Spotify without any issues. And they're pretty cheap too, like 30 bucks. Let me know what you guys think. I'll show you the after when the uh, emblems are done. All right, are we ready for the reveal in three, two, one? I should have waited till I had all my decals. There she is. So I'm taking these off. They were like $28 on Amazon. And if you look at them, 
they don't even they're not even cut right look at the angle there like so a local guy is uh gonna do me some like lava orange which i'm gonna put inside here As you see it had this is not a blemish it actually had a nick in it when i painted it but it looks like factory you can see the semi-gloss and um i'm gonna show the picture of the sprays that i used again one tip i will tell you is when you're painting these and the on the letters and all that stuff you need to get closer with your nozzle when you're spraying okay like i sprayed them like six inches and did the light coat and i did that through a whole bottle and i did the whole second bottle till i was at the very bottom of the second bottle i started getting close because i could still see speckles so make sure when you get near the end start going heavier which means you might have to get a little closer with your spray bottle to make sure you're totally getting everything covered okay so let's look around here 